When we talk about our nation's memory, the memory of the Civil War, some of the, the in my opinion, some of the saddest memories uh, of that war actually come from uh, General Warren. Now, General Warren was class of 1850. He came back, he, he, uh, he graduated at 20 years old. He came back, he taught shortly before the war, and then he had a pretty meteoric rise throughout the, uh, throughout the American Civil War. So when he is promoted to uh, the chief engineer of the Army of the Potomac, he is, uh, he is he's seemingly on the rise. He's going to go on to do great things. And of course, unfortunately, uh, as Chris mentioned, there is that, uh, that not so fond, not so good end of that story. But because his story, at least in his lifetime, did not end well, uh, it was uh, his daughter, Emily, in fact, she took it upon herself to ensure that his memory did live on. So in the, uh, right around the turn of the century, uh, 1900s essentially, she will donate many items from his collection to the West Point Museum. So the West Point Museum actually is the oldest federally, uh, federal owned museum in the nation and we have the largest collection of artifacts uh, owned by the United States Army which include pieces that belong to, uh, to General Warren. Now, selfish plug here, We'll be at Adams County this afternoon, starting at about one o'clock. And one of the artifacts that we have that belong to uh, General Warren was that very sash that he's wearing in the monument and the, the photographs that you see. Now, Chris, you'd like to follow me down here. I've got one other item that is arguably my favorite. Now, we were talking about artifacts and memory. Now, what we have here, these, Gary was talking about are the, uh, the, the, the field glasses, the binoculars as we know them today, that belonged to General Governor Warren. And they are the, uh, the glasses that he used right here on Little Round Top 160 years ago tomorrow. And when he would have been standing on these rocks behind us, these are the glasses that he would have used to look and spot the enemy from right here on top of Little Round Top. Now, Unfortunately, these uh, the the field glasses have uh, they've seen better days. They've seen very heavy wear and tear. The American Civil War, the Battle of Gettysburg, and uh, unfortunately, uh, these will not be out on display again outside of the museum. Uh, well, I don't. I don't see us ever doing it again uh, because of the condition in which they're in. So you can actually look, you can see that the uh, they did have a leather case to them. The leather case is on display in the museum where the, we took them off temporarily for display to bring down to you fine folks and right here to Little Round Top. But unfortunately, you can see that the, the leather is uh, starting to fall apart. They've come loose. Uh, so unfortunately, we uh, when we discovered this doing the, uh, the condition report, we decided that this is the last time we're gonna we're gonna bring these out uh, outside the museum. So uh, another plug for the museum: we are open from 9:15 a.m. Uh, 9:30 a.m. to 4:15 p.m. from Tuesday through Sunday, and these will be on display for a very long time. So they're gonna live in our collections. They're gonna be out on display. So for those of you that might want to come spend the uh, 161st anniversary with the West Point Museum. Uh, we, we encourage you to do so, and they'll be on display there. But I'm going to pop up some pictures of some other worn artifacts that they pulled from the case for us. His Zouave Kepi, as well as his sword when he was with the 5th New York. Um, there's the Zouave Kepi right there. His sword with the 5th New York. Get, be prepared to be jealous. That's me holding it. Um, <laughs> and the scabbard, um, actually, you could see where the tip of the scabbard had been worn off from where he walked. Yeah. Um, so it was really, really awesome. And those are some of the things you'll see in another video that we have from West Point. And of course, they have on display right now, because they have rotating displays, the Fifth Corps flag that was iconically in the background of one of the pictures with Warren in it. Aaron, I got to ask. Uh, so first of all, what I heard was this is the last time these field glasses are ever going to be back up on Little Round Top. It is. Yep, it is. Okay, that's spine tingling in of and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, and this isn't meant to be a stump to chump, but do you know who manufactured these or who, where they came from? Uh, we, if they're not already on there, which they're not, um, they'll be in the uh, our records on our, uh, it's called ACAS, it's our historical property uh database uh but i don't think we actually 
are aware. Well, of, it, it's uh, who, truly not meant to be a stump the chump. Yeah. I, my mind is just racing, going, "Hey, American Civil War. We don't have enough weapons. We don't have enough anything. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, we need all these officers who are all looking for a set of field." glasses i imagine we reach out to the world mm -hmm. and take as much of the world's stock of them as we possibly can well stay tuned if i can i'll get an answer and uh i'll i'll definitely uh i'll definitely share it with the world that's awesome that is awesome hey aaron we can't thank you enough uh for this what a special experience i'm kind of freaking out a little bit uh a little bit more than usual i guess i'll say so just unbelievable here